Good afternoon, tubers. Madam Roy back again. Back to you on this, uh, let's see, Tuesday, March 21st, 2017. Um, I wasn't originally going to do a vlog today, but I do have a few things I want to show you. Um, whew, been running around again like crazy, like a chicken with my head cut off, but it feels good. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm actually working on a desktop right there. And if I can get my finger to point right, a laptop right there. And I will show you guys that in just a moment. Um, I've had a lot of requests to do more tech-related videos. You guys seem to really like these uh, pickup videos that I've been doing. Um, a couple things I got yesterday I really want to update you on. The main thing is sitting right across from me. Um, and it is that projector, the one I picked up for $6.00 at the Goodwill Distribution Center. Um, it did wind, out, wind up working, I cannot believe it. Um, it's not perfect. Um, it has a little bit of uh, yellowing in places. It's an LCD projector, so basically, it probably has a lot of hours on it. I think the uh, some of the LCDs in it are starting to go bad. But for the most part, it has a decent picture, and I was absolutely shocked. I cannot complain for $6. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this projector first, and then I'll show you a little snippet of a show. Hopefully the copyright police won't get me, so let's All switch right, over to the so other this side. this is the projector right here. For those of you that didn't see my vlog yesterday, this is a Sharp Liquid Crystal Projector Model XV-Z1U Sharp Vision. Now... This particular one, I think, dates from probably the early 2000s. I'll come over here and show you guys the actual ports here. Um, it does not have a VGA or any real way to hook a, a computer up to it easily, but it does have um, component and composite inputs, and it also has uh, S-Video. Um, this does support progressive scan DVD players, but it is not a high-definition um projector i think the highest resolution this goes is about 580 lines so just about dvd quality but you know what that's fine my thing is i'm only going to use this for um watching movies basically when we go out on the trip i'm going to bring this with me we're going to put a sheet on the side of the trailer and we're going to go ahead and watch some movies so right now i'm just displaying it up here on the wall i'll go ahead and see if you guys can see it oh perfect so I'm going to show you some of the uh, in, some of the information here. This is just the basic menu. You can go into uh, video adjust here. Here you can adjust the picture, the brightness, the color. I have the brightness turned down a little bit because I don't want to burn the bulb out. Um, probably going to turn the color down a little bit. You got tint, sharpness, and then reset on the bottom. Um, now going back to here, uh, you can do audio adjust. This has fantastic audio you can it has 3d surround sound this does support um dolby digital and um true dts surround sound which is augmented it's 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 not real but it basically gives you like a 3d effect and the speakers are actually back here so what happened how it works is this is kind of like the bass tube here i believe there's a speaker in the front too so sound is decent with this um i was actually very impressed i did not expect the sound to be quite as good as it is Go back to uh, the main menu here. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it's in image adjust. Yeah, this will show you the lamp usage. In this case, the lamp in this has had 1,434 hours of use. Now, these are 2,000 hour um, bulbs. So this has roughly another 600 and some odd hours left on it. So that is really a good thing. But what I'm going to show you real quick, and you can see it a little bit here, some of the yellowing, um, you can see it like right there, you can probably see my finger, and then just a little bit on top, but for the most part, it is not bad at all. So I'm going to play a little snippet of uh, Two and a Half Men, hopefully the copyright police won't get me for this. Uh, that's all I'm going to play because I really don't want the copyright police to get me. It'll look better um, once I turn the lights off, but like I said, for $6, I really can't complain. This was an awesome score. This is going to allow us to actually watch a movie when we're camping out. 
All right, I'm going to bring you guys over and show you what else I picked up uh, over the last couple of days and uh, talk All right, to you in just a so minute. This is a laptop that I had just picked up this morning from our local thrift store. This is a Dell Inspiron 1525. It's rocking a Core 2 Duo. I just put that Windows 10 sticker there, but I'm going to have to take that off because I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep Windows 7 on this. Um, and what was really cool about it, and I don't remember what I did with it, but it had a whole pack of the original discs. It even had the original receipt uh, when it was purchased at Best Buy back in uh, 2008. Let me see if I can uh, get in here and show you some of the specs. It's a little slow right now because I'm doing quite a few installs. I basically installed Windows uh, 7 on it. Interestingly enough, this actually had Fedora Linux on it when I got it from the thrift store. But other than that, I mean, the laptop is in fantastic condition. You can see the uh, trackpad and the uh, buttons have no wear on them. The keyboard is like in mint condition here, and absolutely no wear on the space bar and the uh, enter key. So you could tell this laptop really hasn't had a lot of use. And I ran Crystal Disk Info on this, and from what I could tell, the hard drive is only, it's the original, and it's only had um, about a thousand hours total of use. So it's really had very light use. Uh, probably a lot of that time was just uh, since uh, in standby mode. So let's see if we can get some of the specs here for you. Just takes a second to populate. But yeah, it is running Windows 7 Professional. Um, I put Service Pack 1 on it. And you do the uh, little Jeopardy thing. Do, 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 do. There we go. It's got the Core 2 Duo T5800 running at 2 gigahertz with 3 gigabytes of RAM. I may upgrade it to 4, um, but I don't have any of those sticks right now, so I'm going to have to see if I can get my hands on another uh, 2 gig stick of memory, because what's in it now, it's got one 2 gig stick of DDR2 and one 1 gig stick. And I think this actually maxes out at four gigs so all in all not a bad score i wound up uh the original price on this was 39.99 but today is the 25 percent off so when all was said and done i got this computer for about 26 dollars and some change and i donated a dollar so say 20 27 dollars and i didn't think it was a bad deal at all and for those of you that are interested the hard drive in this it is a seagate drive and <laughs> this will come up like i said i'm doing a lot right now with it it is a 320 uh, gig drive because Windows, of course, uses some space there. And it does have a DVD burner. Um, one thing I was really impressed with is it also has a decent webcam. I remember having one of these models back in the day. And I think this was one of the first ones that actually had a high-definition webcam. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might actually hold on to this one, uh, take this on vacation with me because I think this would do really well. Um, for video editing, basically editing my uh, YouTube videos when I'm on the road. So we'll just have to All see right, what tubers. happens. Well, just got a package in, and um, this is going to be my new monitor. This is actually going to be replacing this gateway monitor, which is still works, but is not in the greatest shape anymore. It doesn't always come on when I need it to. <laughs> But this one has been well, well used. I got this about five years ago used from a garage sale. So what I've decided to replace it with is this Acer V6 series. This is a 24-inch full HD monitor. Not a 4K, but it does have full HD, so 1080p. Flickerless. Uh, blue light filter, I like that because uh, at nighttime that really helps uh, even out the uh, the tone, the color tones. Um, comfy view, which from what I understand basically means that you can view this at all angles, um, which is really nice because if I'm sitting on my bed here watching it, then I should be able to actually see the monitor without having to actually turn it. And then, of course, Eco Display and Energy Star, just the, telling you that it's a fairly efficient monitor. Now, I got this for a great deal. I got this from Walmart's website. Yes, I know Walmart. I always say I'll never buy from them, but for, unfortunately, they had the best deal on this particular monitor, and this is the one that I wanted. Normally sold for, I think, $169, was on special for $101, so after sales tax, free shipping, the whole thing came to 108 bucks, which is not a bad deal at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and unbox this. This is a really nice monitor. You, you can actually feel the weight in this, so I'm going to cut this open, and uh, we'll all see right. what's in the box. So, box is open. Let's see what the first thing is coming out. And of course, everything is taped, so it's going to be really challenging to get to. 
this is part of the stand. So you know what? We'll go ahead and take out the... Uh, this just looks like the user manual. Wow, look how thin that is. <laughs> ain't really too much there. This looks like the cord controller, or this basically allows you to uh, manage the cords in the back of the monitor. Got the got a VGA cable, but I'm, but I'm hoping that this has the DVI connection in here, uh, like it advertised online. Let's see if I can pull this out. This looks like the. Uh, part of the stand. I think I'm just going to have to pull the whole monitor out and then we'll All get right, a much so better look the cardboard at. out and the first thing I saw was a DVI cable. So yes, this has got to have DVI in it. At least I hope. And then we have the rest of the stuff here. What do we got here? Monitor power cord. Let's see if this uses just a standard desktop power cable. And it looks like it does. Yeah, if you can see it right there. Just your normal three-prong desktop power cord. And this, for some reason, the stand's attached to the monitor, so I just got to pull this whole thing out because there's no way I could do this one hand. All right, <laughs> now that I got everything out, I think this is the, yeah, this is the actual stand. And what's really cool about this, I was reading online, this part is got a magnet in it. So basically, you can stick paper clips here, um, maybe even a magnetic um, camera stand. So that's really cool. I can't wait to try that out. And then this should be the part... It actually sticks in the stand. Let me see how this is supposed to function. Yeah, this has got to go in here, I think like this. Yep, and then this actually goes in the back of the monitor. So let's go ahead and put this to the side for a moment. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, little plastic here and we'll see well, what check this monitor this out, looks guys. like. Tubers, this looks huge. It is a 24 inch monitor, but man, this actually looks bigger than the other one. This one has an anti-glare screen on it, which I really like. The other uh, gateway monitor over here only had a, um, it had the uh, glossy finish. And when that shade was open, you could pretty much not see the monitor at all. So let's go ahead and turn it around here. Uh, look at some of the information here. It is model V246HQL. Uh, see if there's a manufacturer. There you go, January 2017. So this is a brand new monitor. This isn't like new old stock, which is what I was kind of worried about. And as you can see, you got the um, three-pronged desktop power cord there, DVI D and VGA in. So yes, this is exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and put this together, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Talk All right, Shubers. Well, this is it. This is my new setup. Um, I, I'm really impressed with this monitor. I mean, it has great contrast ratio. It's got an excellent bright picture. The only issue I've had so far is I had to lift it up a little bit. As you can see, I'm using my Garth Brooks uh, CD collector box, temporarily at least, uh, to lift it to the height to match the height of my other uh, AOC monitor. Um, I'll probably be doing more videos about this monitor in the future, but for right now, yeah, I'm really impressed with this. I mean, 24-inch monitor, for those of you that are interested, once again, it's model V246HQL. It is considered part of the professional series, made by Acer, and if you go on Walmart.com right now, it is on sale for $101.98. Now, I'm not getting paid for this. And uh, usually I do not promote uh, deals in Walmart, but I must say I have really been impressed with this monitor so far. I still have to do some um, tests with it. I want to go ahead and watch some HD videos on it and uh, maybe play some games. But yeah, thumbs up. I mean, I'm really impressed with this. So what I'm actually going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and replace... The monitor I took off of here is going to go on my uh, stand over there, and that's my uh, Asus uh, Core i7, because even though this monitor is a little bit iffy, it still does work, so I'm going to use this as long as I possibly can. So yeah, big thumbs up. Uh, part of what I need to get done today is done, and we'll see what the rest day brings. I Talk think to you it's a little time bit. that we do a Baxter Cat update, show you guys how he's doing very well. He's really adjusted nicely to the family. He just loves being pets. Still a little leery of strangers, but we're going to work on that. Every time somebody comes over to visit or a client comes over, I'll uh, have him pet them if, if they like cats. And he's getting a little bit better there, but you can see he is just super, super sweet. Loves us to pet him pretty much 24-7. He kind of demands it, actually. 
Still waking us up about five in the morning, which I kind of trying to get out of him, but I don't really mind it because he's so sweet. He comes up and cuddles with us a little bit on the bed. Doesn't really sleep with us too much, though. Let's see if you can hear him purr. Oh, good boy, Baxter. One thing I've really learned is he loves having his belly rubbed for a while, but then he'll start getting kind of feisty. You're a good boy, Mr. Baxter. Still having some allergy problems. I noticed this one, his left eye tends to get a lot of crud in it. I've been giving him some uh, eye drops or wetting drops, and those seem to be working well. Yeah, you're getting tired. You don't want me to pet you anymore? All right, well, we'll leave Baxter alone, and uh, I'll clean up some of this hair because uh, he is shedding. It's that time of the year. Spring's here, and they're shedding their winter coat. So All talk right, to you tubers. in a little bit. Well, I'm putting my feet up and relaxing, so this is going to be the end of the vlog for today. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.